Hello YouTube. Uh, this is Jesse Comfy and I will be doing that most oft requested of my collection videos, which is my Disney VHS collection. Now that it's election day, now that it's after election day, I can get on to doing more lighthearted stuff now. And so should a bunch of other people. <coughs> Alright, this is my Neon Nicky collection, the most particularly off requested Disney VHS collection of all. And it also includes a tape that was distributed by Disney when they used to be on the key logo at the beginning of their tapes. Alright, then we first we got the uh, 20,000 Leagues on the Sea. This is the 118 minute cut version of the 1955 film, which won two Oscars. Three uh, uh, Best Special Effects, Best Art Direction, and Set Decoration. And all the tapes I have are for sale only tapes. I don't have any of the parental only ones as of yet. Say only nine to the rental, as it says in the back, and has the business with flying cars. Welcome to the match for one of the video. And all of the facilities here. Uh, duplication of the whole entire space is not prohibited, and now it's trying to get my copy system. It is encoded onto this tape to prevent duplicating. Should you experience a vertical roll on your television set when playing this tape, we adjust the vertical hole control on your television. This one time adjustment should correct this problem without affecting the auto reception. We're off to employment and may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your video for some time. Got it. Uh, another copy of 20,000 Leaf Game to see. Uh, this doesn't have to tape in it. It broke a long time ago and I tried fixing it. It failed and then discarded the parts. Now I tried to get NWB 1989 to fix it at one point, but he hadn't gotten back to me. And uh, it's too late now for him to do anything about it. Uh, 127 minute version this time around. And we are on vacation with Mickey Mouse and friends. Which was printed during, which was printed on August 17, 1983. And this has it for sale only not to the parental thing at the beginning. I no other copy printed the day before that didn't have this because I saw it on a video I watched a long time ago. Finally, this has the titles K9 Kenny, Bubble B, Goofy and Wilbur, Dude Duck, Mickey's Trailer, and Hawaiian Holiday on it. Then I got Dumbo, Walt Disney Home Video Tape. Uh, the first Disney cartoon that was released on video. Duly noted. <coughs> then we see on television a lot, along with Alice in Wonderland. Printed on July 25th, 1984. Then I got the absent minded professor. One of the three Frank McMurray vehicles that were released from Walt Disney Home Video in the early 80s and all of them are black and um, the first two I mean I I don't think Disney did many black and white films well this is one of the very well, this is among the few that Disney actually did in black and white as it says there as the duplication notice yeah. Any for sale only thing at the top this time. No print day of any variety on here. And this has a preview for a couple of previews at the end of the team. One of them is for The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and the other one is for Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. Then I got uh, Herbie Wright again. Make this tape myself. Print date 
October 9th, 1983. This has the Walt Disney and U promo at the end. One of those things it did. One of the press runs, anyway, that had the promo. Pollyanna, which doesn't work at all. Printed February 7th, 1984. Well, here's the back of it anyway. Uh, Haley Mills won another Randy Kennedy Award for most outstanding juvenile performance in 1960. I've been looking for another copy of this particular release of Pollyanna, but I've not been able to find it anywhere. I usually see the 1985 one, but I heard it was for the author of the Pollyanna, not the uh, original 1981 pressing. So I got uh, the Devil Max Devlin. One of the very first PG rated Disney movies, and it's first to contain obscenity, in its case, uh, goddammit, and an unfinished son of a bitch. Uh, Disney's devilishly funny comedy. Uh, and, unfortunately, Bill Cosby didn't have a devilishly funny fate. Uh, he's in jail now, because, uh, well, you know why he's in jail now. <laughs> if you've seen the news. Print day is January 4th, 1986. Then I got Tron. VHS stereo. From 1982. Meant to be a very, very, very good film from the early 80s, but I've not been able to actually pop in this tape. Hopefully, I will eventually. Does not have the neon Mickey logo at the beginning. Print date is August 23rd, 1984. And Monier stereo, not hi fi, so I was just reading his model on my VCR. Then I got a uh, text starring Mac Dillon. The tradition of Breaking Dire Red says Mr. Uh, people with disabilities are defective creatures. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta refer to Rex Reed as. First I refer to him as Mr. Melissa McCarthy as a hippo. Now I refer to him as Mr. De people with disabilities are defective creatures. Because that's what he implies in his review of The Shape of Water. And this is a Canadian copy of Ted Stero, as you see by the fact that it says down here, for sale only rental prohibited, not not for, not for instead of not intended for rental. <coughs> Struggling powerful things to say today, aren't I? Uh, duplication of, and the fact that you don't see the FBI warning here, instead you see duplication of all the of the is prohibited. And this was Sean, Oklahoma, where I don't live. Oh, here's uh, the Disney Cartoon Classics Limited Old Edition tape, the only Cartoon Classics sub-series tape that I have, which is of Donald, Jazzy Cartoons, Donald's Cousin Gus, the Riveter, the only Red Hound, Good Time for a Dime, Donald's Tired Donald, Drink to be Donald, and the New Neighbor, and yeah, Disney Cartoon Classics tapes are kind of hard to find in any form here in my town. Just do so. Print on March. Yeah, that's March 12th, 1984. And I don't know where this came from. What is the new Further Adventures of Super Ted? This is a Welsh cartoon from Pale Craft Demonstrations Limited and S4C. So this is a Welsh cartoon, which <laughs> I think this ran on Disney Channel here in the U.S. and that's why the since the make the tape of Super Ted. That's why this tape exists. 
And that's why these six other Super Ted tapes exist on the other two teams. Which are Super Ted and Nuts in Space, Super Ted and City of the Dead. Oh. Oh. Wait, there's a... Wait, this is the one other one. This is the premiere Adventures of Super Dead. I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Oh, the, oh, these are the cartoons that are on here. Okay. Cartoons that are on here are Super Ted and Nuts in Space, Super Ted and the City of the Dead, Super Ted and Creepy Castle, Super Ted on Planet Spot, uh, Super Ten at the Fun Fair, and Super Ten at the Gold Mine. I was confused for a moment. <laughs> Print day on here is January 16, 1985. And this does have the Neon Mickey logo despite coming in a typical packaging, atypical packaging, much like Donald and Tex. Donald being the limited goldfish and carbon blocks to his badass. Alright, then we got Pete's Dragon 10V. This was the first movie ever released on Disney VHS tapes back in 1980. Printed on October 28, 1985. Formerly the property of somebody named Movenberg, whoever she is. Next, we got Mary Poppins. Which won five Academy Awards, Best Song, Best Actress, Best Film and Name, Best Original Music, and Visual Effects of 1964. Current day is August 26, 1985. Then I got... Uh, I actually have the soundtrack LP of Mary Poppins. The soundtrack LP of that on Buena Vista. Which I'll show in some other video. Anyway, the next tape which has the Journey of Man and Gan trailer at the beginning, and this is the Barefoot Executive. I've been meaning to look for the tape of that one for quite some time. The original 1986 tape, that is. Not the, um, one where it says Disney's The Journey of Man and Gan, then doesn't have the Comes from Hometown Video in Williams and Flagstaff, Arizona, and there is... If this had a print date, somebody tore it off at one point. Because it didn't have a print date when I got it. Very nice. Uh, the Frog Prince. Which is a 1971 Jim Henson special on Muppet Home Video. That's the... So this is the one Disney tape I have that was distributed by Disney during the Neon Mickey era, but isn't on the Disney label. It also has their warning screen in the era at the beginning, except for the for sale only bumper. And uh, the warning screens are in reverse order on this tape. And this is the latest tape that I have with vertical roll on it. Not counting slightly honorable, which is a good time stay from 87. Uh, this is from Tony's Video Mario Rich Top Tennessee. And printing on this tape is, on, is March 18, 1983. So those are my Neon Mickey Disney era tapes. I'll see you in the next video where I explore some more Disney tapes.